Okay, there's basically two types of outputs that I'm going to talk about um, as far as tuba amplifiers go. <clears throat> there is um, a direct connected output which is like the first drawing that I made like this where the load, there is no output transformer. The plate is directly connected to the load which is directly connected to the B plus supply. That's quite uncommon. Um, I've never seen anything like that. They do make some amplifiers that way. Um, they're quite rare as far as I know. There are two very common types that we'll talk about in, in greater detail. The first is the single-ended output. That's where you have one power tube, such as a 6L6 or a 6V6 in, a, in the old uh, small guitar amps, the small Fenders and Gibsons and such like that. Um, even some of the older phonographs and stuff were single-ended. What single-ended means is there's one power tube. The plate of the power tube is connected to the output transformer which is connected to the battery plus, B plus, high voltage supply. It's one end. You connect the tube to one end of the transformer, single-ended. The output is the same. You have an 8 ohm tap on the transformer connected to an 8 ohm speaker or 16 to 16 or 4 to 4, whichever may the case may be. This is common on smaller output equipment. Uh, guitar amplifiers that are 15 watts, 10 watts, uh, small practice amps, things like that. Uh, most AM radios, the older tube AM radios, were single-ended. That doesn't count the big floor consoles or anything like that. Most of those were the next style which we're going to talk about which is push-pull. Now push-pull has a bigger output transformer with a center tap. The output part is the same. You have a, an 8 ohm winding connected to an 8 ohm speaker or whatever. The input side or primary, the B plus is connected to the center tap and you have a tube hooked on to each end of the transformer. The plate of the tube is connected to the transformer. Now the way this works is, <clears throat> your AC signal comes in, which I should draw, your AC signal, which looks like this, comes in. As the AC signal rises above zero, this point of reference is zero on a sine wave, as your AC signal rises above zero, we'll say this tube conducts. So this tube would receive this part of the signal through the preamp part and will conduct this portion of the input signal and amplify it through this portion of the transformer and out the speaker. As the AC signal crosses over zero and goes negative, the other part of the tube will pull. This tube pushes, in quotes, this tube pulls, in quotes. So as the AC signal drops below zero into the negative portion of your input, this tube would conduct through this portion of the transformer and give you an output. These are used for higher power applications where one tube is maybe rated at 10 watts, that's all you can get out of it is 10 watts. Whereas if this tube, if this is, say this is a 6V6, if you plug two 6V6s in a push-pull, you'll actually get a little bit more than twice the output. So if this is a 10 watt tube, you might get 25 watts out with two of them. 10 and 10 is 25, sort of. <clears throat> because each tube is only doing part of the work. Instead of having to go, they bias the tube differently because it only has to conduct this portion of the wave. It doesn't have to do the negative. So usually push-pull is class AB, not always. Usually, single-ended is class A. They have to bias it high enough so that as it goes negative, it does not reach cutoff. The invisible cutoff line would be down here for class A. You don't want that input signal to reach cutoff or there will be distortion. In a class AB push-pull, cutoff can be closer because this tube is only amplifying this part. So cutoff could theoretically be up here somewheres for this tube, and cutoff would be up here somewheres for this tube amplifying the negative portion. 
so that you can get more power out of the tube because less current is flowing all the time. And the only time current flows is when it's doing work, amplifying. So that's basically that. If you need more power than just a push-pull, that brings up the next portion. This is push-pull parallel. You have the basic same output where you have an 8-ohm speaker with an 8-ohm winding and an output transformer, the center tap of which is connected to your B plus supply, high voltage. But now instead of just having one tube connected to each end of the transformer, we have two which are connected in parallel. The grids are tied together. The cathodes are, are normally tied together through the circuitry with a resistor and a capacitor to ground like in the other drawing. That's not important in this part though. And basically, now if these were 6V6s, we'll say rated at 10 watts apiece, you have two 10 watts in parallel, so that's 20 watts, and you have two 10 watts in parallel here, that's 20 watts. So you have 20 and 20, plus a little bit more, it'd probably be rated about 45, maybe 50 watts because each tube is only doing part of the work the same as on the same as in this diagram all we've done is we've paralleled up the output tubes so instead of having one tube driving each side of the transformer you have two in parallel so that more power can be dissipated this is this is how they do the higher powered like Marshalls uh, big fenders Gibsons I have a couple I actually have four uh, very heavy-duty Duquesne power amps. They use a 6CD6. Um, it's actually a, an RF tube. They use it for audio. They're rated at 100 watts. <clears throat> but I'm going to tell you what, the bass that those things put out is incredible. These are, this is how they would do the very high-powered um, tube amplifiers. Um, tube amplifiers are inherently not efficient. Um, if you had a, a transistor, 100 watt transistor amplifier, um, it would probably take about 200 watts in to run it. A 100 watt tube amplifier would probably be three, 300 watts in off from the AC line to make it run. Um, they're, they're not as efficient. You've got to think of the power that's going through the heaters and all that, that's why they're, they, they draw more current than a, an equivalent transistor amplifier. 